And we're back in the attic. So today we're doing another unboxing review. This time it's going to be the Field Piece Job Link Manometer Kit. It's the JL3KM2. So here we go. Alrighty, so we got our kit here. Again, that's the JL3KM2. Just picked this up on um, truetechtools.com. Love that site. They shipped it pretty quickly too. Uh, I think right now, as of now, they're sold out. But uh, yeah, I was lucky I beat them. So anyway, it comes with a you know standard box. Got a photo of them. I'm um, really excited to use these things. Going to retire my uh, SDMN5, uh, the good old trusty manometer for this guy here. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice and easy to open up here. All right, so what we got in here? So there's nothing else. It looks like they put everything in the bag. So. This is the bag it comes with. It's got a little belt loop on it, so you can hang it on your belt or your tool bag or whatnot. Yeah, just the standard bag, you know, field piece bag. They're pretty good. All right, so here's what we got going on in here. We have some hoses, our uh, gas fittings for checking gas pressure. And then we have, we have the, uh, the actual manometers and it looks like they're all pre-packaged you can buy this in a single kit too but uh, you know me I I mean honestly the the difference in price made more sense to just buy both of them because I think it's like fifty dollars more so I don't know just makes sense so this is cool already has the pressure tip on it and it's wrapped in a uh, you know like a rubbery I forget what this is called. It's not styrofoam. Well, it's like a rubbery styrofoam. All right, cool. So this is our first one. So this is how it comes with static pressure to probe on it. Pretty hefty magnet. All right, and then this, uh, it's got this little blue thing here. Do not place, oh, here we go. So it's got a little warning here. It says, uh, Important, do not place any part of the manometer on hot surfaces such as exhaust flues. Uh, doing so can cause personal injury, damage equipment, and void warranty. So yeah, don't do any of that. <laughs> Alright, cool. So that's pretty much what it comes with. And then here's the other one. So that's pretty nice. Also comes with a static pressure tip. Yeah, so these are pretty nice. Uh, so right here, this is where you can switch, uh, you know, which one it is, P1 or P2. Uh, that way you don't have to change it on the app. You can change it on the, the unit without having to mess with the app. Uh, the battery, basically you take the screw out and pop off this uh, this handle here. And that's where your battery be. Uh, I believe it takes a AAA battery. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn these things on and we'll see if we can get them all set up with our tablet without any issues. Uh, hopefully we can. Uh, and if I have problems, I'll make sure I edit them out. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then in the bag, of course, it comes with, uh, looks like we got to install the batteries. So it comes with the instruction manual, uh, I'm sure the certification paperwork, and it comes with two triple A's. So I'm guessing these things take triple A's, so let's go get our, our uh, screwdriver and get this thing plugged in. Okay, so we got everything unpacked out of the box. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install our batteries. So first things first, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a small one. So right here on the back, you got this uh, little black Phillips screwdriver or screw right here. And you're just going to go ahead and unscrew it. Whatever you do, do not lose the screwdriver. And we're going to pop that off. And as you can see here, here's the battery bay. So we're going to grab our two, our two AAA batteries. And we're going to go ahead and pop those in there. Alrighty. And we're going to go ahead and slide the top cap back on and screw in our screw and there we go now we'll do the same thing with this one alrighty so you want to go ahead and download the uh, field piece job link app uh, you can find it on your android or your uh, ios or ipad os or whatever uh, mac or, or android so we go ahead and open that up you're gonna have to log in the first time i already have an account so it's just gonna go straight to it uh, so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set these up for the first time so we're gonna go to measurements 
Okay, and that's going to say, um, are you going to give permission to use your um, stuff? And you want to put okay, yes. So you got to give it permission to do its thing. Okay. Um, yes, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Cool. So anyway, uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to hit this little... Uh, we're gonna hit the little uh, the little wrench in the top uh, top right corner, and what we need to do is we need to go to Tool Manager, and this is where it's gonna find them now. What you want to do is you're gonna want to go ahead and turn these guys on. So we're gonna go ahead and push these buttons here, hold them till they're green, let go, and now they're on. And there you go. As you can see here, it just picked up the two manometers. Uh, so I'm going to favorite them because, uh, you know, this way it recognizes them right away. It just connects. It doesn't make you do all this. Uh, so now that we got that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and tap the heart. So we did that, and then we are going to uh, hit OK. And as you can see here, these are our pressure measurements. Okay, so now we got them turned on. Uh, we want to zero them out. So the way to zero these out is you're going to hit the power button but just for like a second and then uh, when you see two blue flashes that means it's zeroing out so here we go you push it and you see that That's, so it just zeroed out okay now well, we're going to do that with the other one and that one's been zeroed out and you see on the app now they're both showing zero so now we're ready to take some measurement alright so we are getting a reading we got our blue one uh, that's going to be our supply static pressure and this right here is going to be our return static pressure so you just get these tips and they're also magnetic and you want it pointed into the airstream so this is this over here is my return so the air is going that way so you want to go into it so the uh, one on the left the top left the blue that's my supply static pressure 0.31 inches of water column and then my return Static pressure is 0.26 inches of water column. So then what it does is it adds it up for you. So it's 0.57. So this is kind of cool because you can see it in real time. And I'm not getting too much fluctuation, so that's good. All right, so now uh, we're going to go ahead and hook these up to MeasureQuick, and we're going to do a static pressure reading on MeasureQuick. Uh, if you don't have this app, download it. It's awesome. If you have field piece gauges or testo gauges, uh, this is an awesome app. You can connect a lot of different things to it, and it does a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. Um, I've been using this for a while because I also have the refrigeration job links, um, if you didn't know. Anyway, we need to connect these for the first time, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the little toolbox you see right there in the bottom corner. Alrighty, so now what we need to do is uh, we need to go ahead and add some devices, so we're going to hit the little plus here up in the top. We are going to choose our uh, brand, which in this case is field piece. And now it's scanning to find our devices. Field piece probes. Want to go ahead and hit that. And now if we hit back, you can see here we have the uh, field piece product. So we're going to hit that. And uh, you can go to probe management. And this will show you the two different probes. All right. So when you have multiples, they all show up here. And then here you can reset the mappings. Uh, the one th I don't know if they fixed this, uh, but with the refrigeration probes, uh, if you switch, if you change that switch, it doesn't catch that on this app. Uh, so I don't know if that's still an issue, but yeah. Anyway, as you can see, we're getting a reading here. So let's go ahead and uh, go into the app. So we're just going to back out of that. Okay, so now that you've got them connected, um, you want to go to your uh, the little home right here. Uh, so that's the indoor measurements and you can see here it's got it in real time looks like they haven't set it where it displays on the main screen but um, when you have the air probes they're measuring the temperature and the wet bulb and the dry bulb so it'll automatically enter all that stuff so it helps you calculate uh, the airflow properly so that's pretty cool so I think I'm gonna get those air probes hooked up to this and then we'll give it a shot with everything uh, but yeah that's pretty much how you use them I'm sure there'll be an update or something, and, and this is the most recent update. I just updated it before I started shooting this video, uh, but I'm, I'm sure they'll probably put it where you can see it a little bit better, but for now, it's in the indoor measurements and it enters. So we're getting, on this one, we're getting 0.563. So uh, 
this one it seems like it's a little more accurate as far as like the reading it's like uh, more precise um, but yeah that's to be expected with this company um, with measure quick you know but yeah measure quick is a pretty awesome program you can use it to, you know you can do these things you can build like little reports of the entire system if you have uh, you know you put amp draws all that stuff calculate efficiencies do all kinds of cool stuff so this is a pretty cool app I uh, highly recommend it uh, but yeah as you can see you can use it for refrigeration which I do in fact I use it more than the job uh, than the field piece app but uh, you know there's been some uh, updates to it so I think I might start using it now that I got these guys going on so anyway uh, yeah so we'll go ahead and get set up and check the gas pressure okay so one of the other things you can do with this is you can test the gas pressure on your gas valve so you're basically just gonna put on this fitting um, it could be this fitting It also comes with one of these and the extra hose what I did is I just cut it in half and I just you know put them on there so I don't have to fiddle with just changing the tips um, for me that's just how I'm gonna do it but you know do it how you like but see here's the nice thing about these things they got the little magnet so you just pop it on right there and get your little thing here and then you can go ahead and screw it on now I'm gonna need my other hand to do this so let me get that screwed on and we'll be back okay so we got her all hooked up into our gas valve so let's go ahead and turn on the heater so there's our gas pressure right there on the blue one we're exactly 3.5 inches of water column that's exactly where we want it and that's because we adjusted it last time with the SDMN 6 okay so we are calling for heat now we zeroed out our pressure, and that's our uh, pressure we're getting in our inducer draft motor. So uh, 0.15, or 1.15 inches water column. So this is a pretty handy tool. I like how uh, it's really small, and you can just kind of stick it to stuff. The magnet's pretty strong, um, and you know, you can, when you're doing gas pressure, you don't need both of them. You only can carry one, so it's much smaller can actually keep it in your tool bag you know so that's kind of nice they're built pretty rugged they're pretty much just like the other ones uh, it looks like they used to sit very similar casing uh, but yeah I've dropped these things and beat them up and they they hold up pretty good so uh, we'll be using these uh, going forward and uh, see how they go but uh, yeah these are pretty cool I like them uh, I'll go ahead and put a link to them from uh, in the description below they're on sale over at True Tech Tools. I think they're like 155 bucks for the set of two, and it's like 106 for the single set. So you see the the price difference. You might as well just get the double set. I mean, these are great for like an upflow when you're doing static pressure, and you just stick it to the magnet, and you stick it to the side of the furnace. Uh, they're pretty rugged though. Um, I have the refrigeration ones, and uh, they're pretty they're pretty tough. The range on these are pretty crazy too. I mean, you can, they say it's like 350 feet. Um, I don't know if it's that far, but I mean, you can like set them up inside and go outside and sit in your truck and still get service. So they are pretty good. They're nice and rugged. I've dropped mine a bunch of times and they still work fine. Um, and they just keep adding more and more features to these things. Uh, but yeah, even the JobLink uh, app is pretty awesome. And uh, MeasureQuick is pretty awesome. But yeah, so that's my review and unboxing on the field piece uh, JL3KM2, uh, the JobLink manometer kit right here. So let me know what you think. Uh, comment on the bottom, let me know. And I'll have a description um, or I'll have a link in the description below on where you can buy these things because uh, they're pretty awesome and uh, everyone should buy them. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Comment. Tell me what a horrible technician I am. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.